This is the the B-roll video that was prepared uh, in the middle of July for the media uh, during our National Geographic uh, field work at Little Salt Spring. Uh, National Geographic uh, gave us approximately twenty-four thousand dollars for the uh, excavation of Paleo Indian levels on the twenty-seven meter ledge. And this is the point from which the divers descend um, 90 feet, 27 meters below the surface down to the ledge. This clip shows the uh, use of the uh, underwater scooter. We didn't use it for actually uh, uh, moving around, but we used it to clear the water. Basically, we blew uh, clear water into the excavation. Now you can see the, uh, some rocks which are on this ledge at 27 meters. And here's one diver bringing down a one meter by one meter square, which is part of our uh, method of um, establishing the corners of the excavation. This is a clip that shows the early stages of the excavation. And we've established a one by one meter square. And we're beginning to fan away the sediment and expose the, uh, the underlying material, which is mostly rock with some bones and fossil bones and uh, pieces of wood. This is essentially the same area, but at a different time, different lighting. But you can, we are digging, continuing to dig down until we reach the floor, which is about uh, 20 centimeters below that sediment. We're just literally using our hands to, to dig. And you see that the, the water is kind of uh, cloudy. Mm -hmm. And the reason we have that scooter is we turn that on and it blows clear water into the excavation so we can see what we're doing. Essentially we're labeling every item that we think is of some importance and we're eventually going to sample that. But before we sample it, we're going to photograph it and measure its location. In fact, the water below three or four meters deep, like the water here, mm -hmm. the dissolved oxygen content is almost zero. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the reason for that is that the source of the water is thousands of feet deep. Uh, and it's flowing from that depth and it's that water has been underground for so long that all the dissolved oxygen has been absorbed or lost so we would uh, we would normally spend 50 or 60 minutes on one dive down at this depth and then come up and, and be on the surface for six hours and then we were able to go back down for another 50 or 60 minutes uh, twice a day